framing there, y'all. Action! What? We might have to rent a crane to put those trusses up because I don't see myself on no. the ladder up there no. with those super heavy things. No, we're not doing that by hand. No way. No earthly idea what it costs to rent a crane for something like that. Something with the bolts like that?
the guinea hens have been wandering around all morning. They were over at the neighbor's house down the street. <laughs> and he texted me and asked me if I wanted to bring them back home. The truth is we can't really keep an eye on them all day, every day. It's like a dog or something. They, they are wandering birds. They get out every day and we put them back. I'm going to try to put them back right now. They wander all around and they get ticks and I know they eat ticks. I, I hope they eat chiggers. <laughs> Ninety percent of the time this works. Uh, we are we do have these obstacles in the way right now, but let's see if we can chase them inside. Yeah, they're so used to it that if they just see me walking over this way, they know it's time to head for the entrance. If they get going too fast around that corner, they miss the doorway and they head off into the woods again. And then we just let them in later that night. They usually come home in the evening. This is midday, so they don't always come back this time of day. I just found this laying around the yard. We made these for the kids the other night when they, uh, when we had that dinner, we made this for the boys and we made PVC bows for the girls to shoot arrows. Gave them a bow and one arrow. And I know exactly who left this, so they'll be glad to get it back. I think I mentioned before that a lot of these plants were poison ivy coming up over here. And today I ran through and just clipped the plants and left them on the ground. And so they, they just started getting leaves in the past 10 days. I'm hoping that they've used up most of their energy producing those first leaves. And now that I've clipped them, I hope there's not enough energy left in the roots or enough store left in the roots for them to put all brand new leaves. But I'm about to find out. If they had been growing for a month or two, then I think they would come back because they'd have a chance to really start producing new store storage of energy in their roots where they can produce another plant. Um, I do have a little bit back in here. I just don't feel like going all the way back for it. So. Gonna, oh no, there's one I missed. So we'll see how it goes over here and hopefully that'll take care of the poison ivy in this area for the whole season. And maybe permanently, I hope. We'll see, if I see it starting to come back again, I'll try it again. You know, maybe two tries will do it, maybe three tries will do it, but hopefully by doing that, we'll get it taken care of. I'm up here doing my siding. I decided not to put in a window there. So there's uh, from the corner all the way to the sauna is all closed in now. I need to close in the bottom also, but I'll worry about that later. Just because this, this half of the barn is gonna be a room. I'll probably go I, over here on this side, I had closed it up. And just like you see this bead right here of, of insulation, I might go through and close up all those gaps with insulation. And maybe this will become a, a room that can stay warm because we've got the ceiling sprayed. And I have noticed that it's a lot cooler today being underneath this. And as I get over here where it had run out, I can feel the radiant heat a lot more off the bottom of this roof. So I'm satisfied with the fact that this insulation is working up here, even though I'm not satisfied with the kit at all. And I don't recommend it, like I said in a previous video. This do-it-yourself spray kit that I have not thrown away yet. There's a whole process to cleaning it out in order to be able to throw it away in the regular trash. There's the girl I love. <laughs> 